Hi, thanks for tuning in to today's Monday Marketing Minute. I'm Jeremy LaDuke with Epic Nine, and today I want to talk to you about something that's near and dear to my heart, business cards. Right here is my collection of about four to five years of gathering business cards from chamber events and networking opportunities. And as you can see, most of them are pretty much the same. There's some sort of design fit within a three and a half by two inch piece of cardstock paper. And some, some are even blank on one side. Don't be this guy. Now, whenever you get a business card or hand out a business card at a networking opportunity, it says a lot about your business. It can speak to the quality of your service or product, but it can also tell your, your potential customers about how much care and attention you put into the little details of your business. And that's why when I see something like this, I don't just see maybe a bad or, or cheap marketing uh, choice. I see kind of lazy marketing you have 50% of your business card that's unused. So today we're gonna to talk about how do you help, how do you stand out from the crowd of business cards? And as you can see, you have a lot of opportunity to do it because most people are still stuck in this little rectangle. So there's three ways that you can make your business card stand out. One is material, another is the shape, and the third is the general graphic design of it. So in terms of material, you have a few options. You know, they're not unlimited, but there are several options out there. Just for an example, I love Artistic Pops card. They use this sort of translucent plastic that makes them stand out and catches your eye. And it feels cool too. Or you could go with a really heavy duty cardstock. This is actually a triplex from more upholstery. And this stuff is like so thick, it's hard to bend. This is not going to get scuffed up or bent up in your pocket. And so it's a really sturdy card and it speaks to a lot of quality. The other option you have is the shape. Now, this is probably the easiest way for you to stand out and stay within a budget. You're probably gonna pay a little bit more for more premium materials, but usually you can do a different shape for just about the same amount of money as you could do um, the normal three and a half by two inch business card. So for example, my friend Baron Mays over at uh, BDS has a little oval card that helps them stand out from the crowd or Missy's over at uh, Kingdom Design, the circle one. I love this. This is actually the first circle card I think I ever saw, and they do a really good job with it. One uh, shape option that is pretty popular these days is the square, and it can be square with rounded edges, square with uh, pointed edges, but the square shape helps you stand out uh, a lot, but you want to make sure that the material you use for a larger square shape is durable because if it does stick out, and the edges are sticking out uh, from the other cards, it will get bent up a lot easier. So make sure you use a sturdy material. One way we, that we do that is um, we use our cards with a triplex, but we also, they are shaped so that they fit within the same size as a, as a regular business card so they don't get beat up um, in people's pockets and they stand out. Um, you can never underestimate the value of a good business card. Just this morning, I called on someone, a, a potential, customer that I hadn't talked to in about a year and a half. And most of the time, um, people don't remember me first, they remember my business card. And so when I was introducing myself, I said, hey, I'm Jeremy from Epic Nine, I'm not sure if you remember me or not. She goes, oh yeah, you're the one with the cool business card. And so never underestimate the value of a good business card. It can help you stand out. So you've got material, shape, and then last but certainly not least is the general graphic design of the card. As a couple of examples, here's one from NOI uh, Furniture up in Knoxville. A really subtle die cut uh, shape in their, in their card. Just makes them stand out and gives them a little extra edge. Even though it's the traditional shape, um, they, they put a little extra attention to detail in there. Another option is to kind of carry on your branding. Um, Matthew, our friend over at Hits and Insurance, um, if you've ever seen him out and about, you know he wears bow ties all the time. He's kind of got the corner on that, um, and he works that into his card with a bow tie there and helps you remember his brand um, and helps him stand out in the crowd. And then uh, send out cards. I really like this, this card. It's shaped kind of like a phone, and it has their contact information on one side, but then you also get a little glimpse of what their product actually looks like when you're using it um, on your phone. 
And so they use the design of the card itself to, to stand out. So in short, don't underestimate the value of a good business card. Um, go the extra mile, pay a little bit more, get you one that stands out because it will help you uh, stay top of mind for your potential customers. If you need any help brainstorming on how you can make your business card look and look great and stand out, give us a call or just talk it over with your printer um, or with your graphic designer and, and see what ways that you can, you can change your business card to stand out from the crowd. Thanks.